Welcome to HDTV. You're now rocking with your boy. Now, basically, shout out to Buttzilla, man, for sending me this on um, Twitter and everything to let me know what's going on. Kyrie Irving basically surfaced, and you know, every time he says something, you know, it's it's um it's um put out there like a hundred to two hundred fold. Everybody has something to say, you know. Nobody really likes Kyrie because he's very outspoken and he looks at things differently. You know, when he came out and said the world was flat to him. You know, everyone basically blasted him. Everybody was trying to destroy him, you know, and basically say, yo, you, you know, you ain't, you know, trying to make him look stupid because he said, you know, what was his opinion. You know, but it is what it is. He did his commercial when he was with the Celtics. He had the um, flat earth <laughs> in the commercial and then he said he had Jason Tatum in the commercial. You know, everything, you know, before he got hurt, Boston was like probably the best team in the league. You know, they just got done going toe-to-toe -to -toe with um, Golden State. But um, Kyrie's issues have been mostly injuries. Everyone, you know, feels like he can't stay healthy. You know, he can't um, stay the course, which is, you know, be healthy for a full season. He um, got hurt last year in the playoffs. Everyone said it was karma for him stepping on Lucky, the leprechaun, which I didn't know it, it had a name. I just thought it was the leprechaun or something. But the thing here is Kyrie said he wish he would have never made that shot. He wish he would have never hit that shot to win the finals. And to me, it's like this. Um, I agree with him because I wish he would have never hit it because, for one, it would have showed that LeBrownies is not that guy. That his legacy has always been to put up great numbers. He puts up astronomical numbers, but in the win column, you know, he doesn't come up big. And then everyone wants to say, well, it's his team. They want to blame everybody. Kyrie was getting blamed for things that was not his fault. He was going through the issues of he was the man he was lied to to sign that contract. Um, he threatened to sit out a season, you know, because he found out, you know, hey, these guys here are trying to trade me on the low and they were going to try to trade him for Eric Bledsoe. So the thing is this, Kyrie Irving is always looked at as the wild card or unpredictable. Then you had his name in rumors where people said he ought to be traded for Ben Simmons and no. Ben Simmons will never be the caliber player that Kyrie Irving is. You know, Ben Simmons to me is just an overrated guy who's not going to reach his potential. And Kobe Bryant predicted that a long time ago if he doesn't shoot the ball. And it's not saying he can't shoot. He won't shoot. And he won't shoot because he wants to keep that brand as he's a perfect point guard, a perfect player. Now, this is the thing that, that pissed, um, this is the thing that, you know, people are going to look at it like, why would he say that? Because ever since he hit that shot, he's been terrorized, he's been alienated, he's been talked bad about, people have come out to say he's this type of teammate in Boston, you know, half the team was for Kyrie and the other half was for, you know, the young guys. So the people that were gone the following year were mainly riding with Kyrie, like Marcus Morris, and then you had um, Al Horford. Um, at first, Jalen Brown really didn't like Kyrie Irving.
because Isaiah Thomas was his vet and he felt like they did Isaiah wrong when Isaiah Thomas didn't get the surgery on his hip. So Isaiah Thomas is the one to blame. Danny Ainge was looking at it like, look, man, I'm trying to win now. And if they they wanted to sign him, they were going to lock Isaiah Thomas up contract wise because Isaiah had such a great performance that year. It was it was mind boggling. They just lost to um, LeBron in them. I think they got swept. Or they lost to um, a game or two. So the thing is this. People want to dissect this and think, oh, well, why are you saying this on um, when that basically made your legacy for a big shot taker, big shot maker? It's not that. Isaiah, I mean, Kyrie just wish he never would have hit the shot because he's going to get blamed regardless. He hit the shot, but everybody's like, well, look at um, LeBron's numbers. And I'm like, dude, Kyrie scored just as much as him in the closeout game. But nobody talks about that. They want to give everything to LeBron. He's on the silver platter but when it comes to Kyrie everyone's like he's crazy he don't know what he's talking about and I've seen this on a lot of um, YouTube's podcasts and a lot of people have said that he benefited from having LeBron my thing is why you guys can't praise what he did for LeBron and that's to hit that shot he hit that shot cemented his legacy So it's, it's real difficult. You know, I understand where he's coming from because he doesn't like that people are continuously tearing him down just to make this guy the best. And everyone acts like Kyrie wasn't out there balling when he was. And that's what hurts, but he didn't. He wish he never would hit the shot, I agree. Because hitting the shot, what does it tell you? It's basically letting you know that he never wanted to play with the Brownies. They always bumped heads in Boston. Um, they got mad at him. Um, they were going to sign him back. But Kyrie left because Kyrie didn't want to be there because he felt like the fan base wasn't appreciative of him, which they weren't. And then you had all these guys talking about Kimba's going to be better. And Kimba had the same issues that Welcome Kyrie to Georgia. Had. He had the same issues that um, Kyrie had, which is the... the, the um, the two young guys, Jalen and, and Tatum, dominate the ball majority of the time. And with Kimball Walker being a scoring guard, it's very hard for Tatum and, and Brown to operate. They can't they can't be around each other a lot. So So everyone is feeling like, what else is new? To me, my thing is this, Kyrie. You should never regret hitting that shot. Because what that shot did, it showed how clutch you are and it showed that the other guy couldn't close the deal. Now, Kyrie has been dealing with mental health. And he's been an advocate for it, saying if you have mental health issues. Not only that, he tries to help in the community and do some things, but he's always received a backlash. That's not what I want to hear, but I felt like 
if LeBron would have hit that shot to win the game or something, Kyrie wouldn't have to deal with all the scrutiny and everything. But what messed it up was LeBron needs to trying to trade him because he wanted to basically, um, I lost my train of thought. All right. If he would, if Brownies would have hit the shot, the Brownies would have been able to bask in it more. But the thing is, Kyrie Irving is probably one of the best we've seen touch the ball. Um, we'll see what he does, but he's a tough guy. But he just gets hurt, and that's his problem. But. He wouldn't have had to deal with this media backlash if he would have never hit the shot. Then they tried, they took his credit away saying, oh, well, you know. So, you know. Let me know what you think. Do you think Kyrie should regret hitting that shot or do you think no? Um, let me know in the comment section. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share this. Hit the notification bell to select all to see upcoming notifications. And if you love what you hear, you can donate to the page by cash apping me at the word welcome. Number two in an HD TV. Thank you for listening. We out. Easy.